first brick was laid in 1946. Really? In that section we're looking at. And the last upgrade was probably in the 90s. Yeah. We'll do a little bit of this outside tour first. Okay. This building was the old warehouse. It's four stories. You don't build industrial warehouses like that anymore. You usually do a single tall story. And basically, Springs Global bought Springs Industries and they came here and loaded up all the equipment they could load up and uh, on trucks and train cars and took it all to Brazil and uh, left whatever they couldn't load, right? So there's still stuff here. Just hadn't been used in 10, 15 years. Remy and I are now friends. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we, buddy? <laughs> you come out and look at this side? So the buildings on both sides of us are almost each a million square feet. Um, this one has got two to four stories, depending on where you're at. And the one on the left is got two stories on the front, but it's mostly single story. And this, the one on the left was the bleachery. This is where they bleached and dyed fabric. So all those vehicles over to the left, even those CBRE or whatever the those guys vans are? are working here today. Oh, okay. This is the old coal plant. We'll walk down there in a little bit. Okay. And this is the end of the bleachery building. So I don't know. This building's probably about 20 acres under roof, which is kind of crazy <laughs> to think about. And, um, 20 acres. Yeah. And then there's more buildings. Uh, we'll drive up here, but you can start seeing them through the trees. This was the largest textile plant in the world when it closed down. Really? And uh, it provided utilities to both neighboring towns and the two plants on either side that used to be there. And it just keeps going on. Oh my lord! And all these buildings are gen are generally empty. Uh, we'll walk through them here in a second. Okay. There, some are full of things, some are not. <laughs> That's crazy. They used to provide power to both neighboring communities and the mills. Um, so it's a pretty massive power plant. We gotta get a couple shots of Remy. Yeah. Out there. We can uh, switch him <laughs> over to my side. No, nah, he's good. Point. He's not bothering me at all. Yeah, down here is the pump station in the river, so. You'll get some good shots of the LNC too. So oh yeah. The, the LNC was originally the spring made line and it was built by Springs. Really? So it ran from their plantation where Ann Springs Close Greenway is. Right, uh, part, right. That's part of it anyways today. It ran from up there and it would bring the cotton down and it'd get processed at the different plants. So I'll tell you ahead of time, it's a bad idea. Um, but I've always wanted that to be my house and that to be my studio. We can walk up there, you'll get some awesome shots. Ah, I want to take the dog up and we'll see if he wants to. This is crazy beautiful. You're not going across? You know, honestly, I still don't trust my leg enough. So I understand. Oh, yeah, I got you. It's, there's no, there's no walkway over there.
cold in here. Because we're outside, technically. Uh, and in the ground. Obviously, we're going to get a whole heap of that. This gets all the steam out of it. Steam processing, because they right. need to make power and healthy for the processing plant. And uh, they can't grow up in the same places. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get a little bit started, right? Hello! <laughs> 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 That's scary. <laughs> it's supposed to scare you when it comes down here. That's fun. Apparently, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, for if like I hadn't like come to One Mile Tunnel, I would, I've never been forgiven by several friends yeah. of mine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Crazy awesome, Frank. Yeah. I mean, just beyond my expectations, honestly. <laughs>